Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. Today, I'm going to show you my version of the world famous BP build. Of course, you probably, all of you probably know who BP is. You know, he's one of the best dribblers in the 2K League. But anyways, uh, here you go. Uh, you want to choose the half green, half uh, finishing pie chart, of course. Now, for physical profile, of course, you want to choose the all speed one. I mean, you could choose uh, the half vertical, half uh, speed one, but I don't think vertical is that important for a guard. So uh, yeah, choose the all speed one. All right, you wanna max out your close shot. You wanna max out your driving layup. And you wanna max out your driving dunk. That'll give you 15 sh finishing badges. And there you go. You wanna max out your mid range shot. You wanna max out your three point shot. And you wanna max out your post fade. And then you wanna bring your free throw all the way up till you get 17 shooting badges. Trust me, 17 is plenty enough to green every time. You don't need any more shooting badges than that. Max out your pack accuracy, and max out your bat ball handling. And there you go, get 13 playmaking. All right, here's the biggest difference between my build and PPB's build. First of all, max out your perimeter, max out your lateral, max out your steal. I know, I know, I know, steals don't really matter in this game. I mean, you can have a negative 50 attribute steal, and you probably still get a lot of steals in this game. That's, that's just how broken they are, but max out anyways, so you can get more badges. Max out your defensive rebounding, and you want to max out your block here. That'll give you, hold up. Wait, that's nine, uh, takes out one back hours. There you go, yeah, there you go. You got 10, now you got 10 defensive rebounding badges. That's the probably biggest difference between uh, my build and BP's build is that my build can actually play defense. Or at least better defense. As, as good as defense as a 6-2 guard can play, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Now you wanna see body shape, doesn't really matter. I chose the fine, but it doesn't really matter. You could go with 6-3, but I recommend that you go with 6-2. I feel like 6-2, you'll be faster, you can speed boost off rip, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, there you go. You want to go uh, minimum weight, of course, get that acceleration up and that vertical up too. Strength doesn't really matter on this build that much, so uh, don't worry too much about strength. Of course, you want to go minimum wingspan, so you can speed boost off rip, and you can 83-3 too. Uh, yeah, you can 83-3-2. I mean, block, I mean, steal rating does not matter. Block rating only goes down by one, so I think it's a fair trade-off, really. It's a great trade-off, actually. Uh, so yeah. This, this is the hardest part for me here. You see, uh, I mean, any one of these takers is, is good, but I mean, for me, I really had a tough time choosing between, you know, playmaking takeover and slashing takeover, because... I mean, slashing takeover is probably the best takeover in the game, but I mean, playmaking takeover is on an offensive threat. BP build, I can get contact dunks and shoot like a sharp. I mean, I don't know, that's pretty OP. All you have to do is spend, you know, half spins and snatchbacks, and you'll eventually get an ankle breaker or something. And it, and uh, you can pass it to any one of your teammates with playmaking takeover, and chances are it'll be green, you know, at least 75% of the time. That's how, you know, really good uh, playmaking takeover is for. Uh, a dribbling build so yeah we had a really tough time choosing between these two takeovers but for me personally I'd probably have to go with the playmaking takeover because I feel like that's one area where uh, this build lacks right now so yeah I go with playmaking takeover and there you go offensive threat the BP build 6-2 offensive threat that can get contact dunks fast as hell and can shoot like a sharp yeah not definitely not broken and I have 10 defensive badges so yeah definitely not broken of course, you want to get to 99 here. I mean, look at that. Uh, once you hit 99 and you get gym round, that's a 97 speed. That's a 99 uh, acceleration and a 90 vertical. And uh, of course, you get a 58 strength, if that even really mattered that much, I guess. But yeah. Also, at 99, you get you know 91 ball handling. You get you know 86 driving dunk. Get an 87 three. I get like an 80 perimeter defense, 80 lateral quickness. I mean, that's I think that's pretty dope. Alright, for finishing badges, let's see, uh, of course you gotta go Hall of Fame Contact, you gotta go Hall of Fame Slithery, you gotta go Hall of Fame Fancy Footwork, uh, probably go Silver, Giant Slayer, and then Bronze Acrobat. That's probably my badge layout, I mean, of course, you know, this is all preference, uh, what badges you work with best, or you think are best, uh, yeah. Alright, now for the shooting badges, uh, of course you wanna go Hall of Fame Quick Troll, Hall of Fame Ranger Center, Hall of Fame Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame Green Machine, and for the last badge, of course, you can put on whatever you want, you know. Clutch shooter, catch and shoot, dead eye, volume shooter, but I go with dead eye, you know. That's my personal preference. Uh, for playmaking, you want to go uh, gold floor general, gold handles for days, gold uh, quick first step, 
silver unpluckable and uh, I for me I'd probably go with bronze needle threader and bronze bailout but you can put you know silver tight handles if you want or you know silver space crater whatever fits your preference of course but you know my preference is of course just needle threader and bailout because yeah I like to pass a lot sometimes so yeah there you go I mean floor generals you can take out floor general too I guess because I mean playmaking throw is pretty OP but yeah I don't know, I like to have floor general on. I think it's definitely better than dimer. Now, here's the best part. The defensive badges. 10 defensive badges. Of course, you want to go gold clamps. Uh, you want to go gold intimidator here. I mean, again, this is preference here. I think I'd rather go with gold intimidator and silver pick dodger. But, I mean, you can go gold pick dodger and silver intimidator, you know. That works fine for you if, you know, you have trouble navigating through screens. But, I think, uh, you know, screens are way too OP. So, uh, yeah, I need that silver pick dodger of course, you go bronze for protector, bronze chase down artist, and uh, yeah, that's probably much my defensive bad setup. Pretty dope, if I say so myself. I mean, you can put on rebound chases too if you want, but I don't think you're gonna grab too many rebounds on this build. So yeah, go with definitely just chase down artists. But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.